Hey everybody, it's your girl Tara Crush again here with another review. Well, actually this one's going to be kind of like my view. Someone asked me to do a video on my take on the Ice Cube situation. And here's what I have to say. Um, in case you did not know, it came out today. It's been coming out the last couple of days that Ice Cube has been working with the Trump administration on Trump's platinum plan. What's a platinum plan, you say? Huh, well, that's the plan for black folks. And, you know, Ice Cube thinks that he is the spokesperson for black folks because he wrote the movie Friday. And he thinks that he is allowed to speak for me, a poor person, while he is a multimillionaire and has many, many entities where he's getting millions of dollars every year. And he really thinks that he is still able to speak for me, a broke person. And he hasn't even asked me what I need. He hasn't even asked me. He did not ask me what I need. He, he didn't. No, nope. he didn't ask me. Did he ask you? He didn't ask me. So I feel like he can't speak for me. Well, he's gone and allowed himself to be used as a pawn, just as Kanye West has, because Ice Cube has this thing, a contract with Black America or whatever, that he supposedly is making requests for Black America. Well, where was you in 2018 when we needed you to be active and vocal before the primaries? You want to come out after the primaries, after, you know, the decision has been made for Biden, which I did not want. I did not want Biden. I did not want Kamala. Those were the two I did not want. So I'm not really happy with the DNC forcing them on me, but you will not convince me that they are worse than Trump. Trump has made his, his feelings very apparent about black people and brown people. He's made them very apparent. So why you would ever feel like having a seat at that table would be a good thing, I have no clue. Now you say you're working with him on his platinum plan. Well, his plan, two of the points, two of the biggest points of his plan, you know, making Juneteenth a national holiday, not a federal holiday like the 4th of July where the banks got to close a national holiday. Yeah, that's no big deal. It should be a federal holiday. Well, that's already been struck down by this Republican administration. Oh, and then they try to, you know, he's got it on there to make, you know, lynching a federal hate crime. Well, they already struck that down too, but it's still on the plan. Rand Paul actually stopped that one, you know, stopped that vote. So it's it's all smoke and mirrors. It's really nothing. But for him to come out and try to use his platform to act like it's really something, I'm so disappointed in you, O'Shea. I mean, I heard the rumors about you didn't want to pay your actors and things when they act with you and you do people real bad. I didn't, I didn't want to believe all of that, being a film director myself and a screenwriter now myself. You are scum if that's the way you are. And if you think that you can speak for me and the rest of the people in black America without asking us what we need, you are sadly mistaken. And you are no better than Kanye West. You are no better than any of the other paid Negroes that they use to harm black America. So I'm definitely not team Ice Cube on this. I feel like he is dead wrong. I feel like he is afraid, like Kanye is afraid, like other rich people are afraid, that their taxes is going to go up if Biden gets in there. And they are. And they are. They shouldn't be paying less than us. They should be paying their fair share. Period. And that's what they're scared of. Kanye even said it. When Trump got into office, he was bankrupt. Now he's got all these millions of dollars because of Trump's tax code. They want that tax code to stay. It's killing us, but it's helping them. So again, if you're going to do something, say you're doing it for you. Don't say you, don't say you speaking for me and you ain't asked me. So that's my fat dollars and two cents on Ice Cube, AKA O'Shea Jackson and his, you know, his move to the White House. Mr. Politrix, peace.